Hi everyone, for those of you who saw my other video, you would know that my husband and I are going on a piano mini cruise from Hull <clears throat> to Rotterdam. If you don't know, or if you didn't watch the other packing video, I will put a link uh, below or within the video. I don't know. I'm not sure if I know how to be quite that tech savvy. I can manage to edit videos, but that's about it. So anyway, so after you've seen what we're packing for the two of us into a single bag to share in our cabin on the boat, I thought I would show you my day bag because as I said in my previous video, I'm taking a day bag um, which will also be my camera bag. So I could have used, and my handbag, um, I could have used my camera bag, but I just prefer the, um, to have my bag on two shoulders. It distributes the weight a bit better. So this is my bag, although I might change to the Kath Kidston train bag because that would match the other bag. But for now, it, they're, they're the same exact size, so everything will still fit. But this is the Mickey in London bag of Disney by Kath Kidston. It's just like their standard size rucksack. Um, attached to the outside, I have some hand sanitizer. I also have a little handy towel. It's called a handy hero. And what it is, is it is a towel. And it's, it's basically a very thin, I guess it's kind of like a microfiber towel. But um, it's very, very useful, especially when it's been raining. Um, the last time when we were in Austria, this came in quite handy to like dry off a bench. So you could sit on a wet bench. So that always is attached to my bag when we're out and about. And for some reason, I've got Arnold the Pygmy Puff because I, oh, I, I, he's there because my cats tried to play with him and I got mad at them. So I stuck him on my bag. So um, he'll probably stay there. So let's see what I've got inside the bag, shall we? So the front pouch sort of has everything that I might need. Um, kind of at the last minute notice. Uh, this is a little uh, first aid kit that I put together that I carry around with me. Uh, I have a torch, although I don't think I'll need this in Rotterdam, so this may get transferred to our overnight bag. My pill box, which, which will include, although I haven't filled it yet, but it will have my prescription as well as pain relief. And then I also have some quells in here uh, just in case either of us get motion sickness on the boat. I have a pack of tissues. I have a spork, my sunglasses case with sun with prescription sunglasses, and sticking out of the case is my lens cleaning cloth. I have two Slimming World Hi-Fi bars in case of hunger. What else is in here? Uh, some sweetener tablets. This bag also has a back pocket, which is for your laptop, but obviously I'm not taking my laptop on a short trip like this. Can get it open one-handedly to show you. So that is the inside and let me show you what's in it. So in that back laptop sized pouch I have my Kindle Fire tablet. Um, the only reason it's going around with me is because um, while I'm okay with leaving my clothing and toiletries in the stateroom, I don't feel comfortable leaving my Kindle behind because I don't think these um, staterooms have safes in them like um, a bigger cruise ship would have. And then also in the back, I have this smaller pouch. I guess it's not really a small pouch because it's about the same size as, a bit bigger than the Kindle. I have this pouch and inside this pouch, it has all of my sort of like traveling electronics. Um, it has an external battery charger with a plug attached to it, uh, well, cable attached to it, a second micro USB cable to charge another, well, to charge this so that I can charge both of my devices a um, convertible one that converts between being a micro and a um, Apple charger for my husband's um, iPhone, because he has an iPhone for work, a set of headphones, a headphone splitter in case um, Tim and I want to both listen to something at the same time, and two, ba two extra batteries for my SLR. Oh, and my selfie stick also lives in the back, but I'm actually using the selfie stick right now um, as kind of like a stabilizer for my phone, so obviously you didn't see that. And oh, hey, look, now I'm actually using my battery charger because my phone's just told me it's got a low battery warning. And then, so this is the main pocket of the bag. And again, um, well, actually, it might be easier to take things out of this because it opens up so nice and wide. So inside the main compartment, I have a pair of leg warmers because... A pair of wrist warmers, although my undershirt does have built-in thumb holes, so I might 
I don't know if I'll need extra ones, but they're thin and they go in, so that is fine. My little tube scarf from Austria, because you can wear this 8 million different ways. It also makes a very nice um, cap liner. If it's extra windy, you can wear it, you know, as like underneath your regular, cap, regular hat as a liner. So I've got that along. A folding um, carry, carry bag in case we do any shopping. Um, this one is from Harrods. My purse, which I will open separately and tell you separately. And then in the bottom, oh, uh, Hamish, because I don't go anywhere without Hamish. And then in the bottom, I have my SLR, which is the Canon 600D, and my zoom lens. Although I did have the um, tube scarf wrapped around my zoom lens to keep it from knocking into my camera. So my purse will be my Bagalini purse, handbaggy, crossbody, whatever you want to call it. I can't remember the exact name of it. Um, I will link it below, but I also did do a video review of this bag previously uh, before we went on a previous trip. And I just love this bag because it's very versatile because you can use it and put your cards in these card slots and everything. Or it's got enough space in it for a wallet as well. Um, and it's got loads of pockets and lots of space. So I do use it differently than I was using it in my review video. But um, if you want to see that, you can. And then on the front of it, I just have a little pin I bought in Austria because why not? So inside there will be my purse, which all I carry around with me is my credit card, my debit card, and my um, provisional driver's license, as well as obviously cash. Um, I will obviously have euros in it for Rotterdam, and I will just leave my British money um, in our cabin. Um, this is a notebook, which I'm actually using to represent my passport because I forgot to bring my passport upstairs with me. But my passport will be inside my purse and then my travel cards are in there as well and um, apparently I had a lip balm and a bunch of loose change. Now the nice thing about this bag is it can be worn crossbody so it doesn't doesn't and probably won't stay in my rucksack the whole day that I'm out. Um, but that um, is everything I think. Um, what else do I have? Oh there will be a water bottle attached to the outside. Um, probably attached to the outside of my bag just so that I have a drink. And then, yeah, that, that's all I've got. That's all that's in my day bag for our day off of the boat when we get to Rotterdam. So you combine this video with the other video. Um, and there you'll have everything that I'm taking with me to Rotterdam except for my jacket, scarf, and gloves. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.